Look at these guys. It's in Japanese. Japanese Corona, twice as strong, right? What is going on, members of the barrio? It's John coming to you from Hiroshima, Japan. And I thought I would give a treat to some of my Mexican viewers out there. I lived in Mexico for four months. Adriana is from Mexico. And all we've been eating the last three weeks has been a diet of Japanese food. Well, I got a tip that there's a good Mexican restaurant in Hiroshima. We're gonna go check it out. Myself and Adriana, the Mexican girl. Guys, I was checking the menu they have right here. And I honestly don't know what to expect. I don't think it's really Mexican, but I'm gonna give him a chance. They have menudo. Like, have my mate, like, they have menudo. I don't like it, but I'm surprised. I found myself struggling between arigato and gracias. I, I literally almost said both at the same time here. My language is starting to get mixed up. Look at these guys! It's in Japanese! Japanese Corona. Twice as strong, right? Yes. Kanpai! So far, the meat looks like Mexican style, sort of. I would say kind of like the cebrada. So let's see. Yeah? Much better than the ones I've tried in US. Really? Yes. Why? What does it taste like? <laughs> the meat is actually really good, it's juicy, and it's like the cebrada which is a uh, dish in Mexico. It's really, really good. The only thing I would say that is different is the flour tortilla. For you guys, you know that we, we eat flour tortilla, but we kind of prefer, well, I think most of the people prefer corn tortilla. I would say it's perfect if it, this one had corn tortilla. I've taken one bite of the beef so far, and it is excellent. The Japanese beef is really second to none, and putting it in a quesadilla, yeah, it doesn't taste exactly like a Mexican quesadilla would in Guadalajara, but in Japan, this really hits a spot. I, I miss Mexico a lot. We've got fish in English, beefsteak, pollo, and the rest in Spanish. My brain doesn't know what to do right now. Guys, I just discovered something. It's corn tortilla, which is good, but not just that. It's handmade corn tortilla. See, sí. you can see the texture. It's handmade. It makes sense because where else will they find tortillas in Japan, right? <laughs> it's not bad. The only thing like is the tortilla, of course it doesn't taste the same. And maybe some people believe the tortilla doesn't matter in a taco, but it's very important. Like the taste is really important in a taco. If the tortilla is not good, the rest of the taco is not gonna be that good. The tortilla is not bad, it's actually better than some I tried in the US. <laughs> but it's different, so it makes the taco completely different, but it's not bad. I don't think I've had a taco since we left Guadalajara in early March. And now I'm having my first taco nearly two months later. How can you live without tacos? Like, I don't understand how you do that. Because I, I, I know in New York it's just so hard to find good Mexican food. There's a few spots we like, but... Let's see, let's see. Here we go. So I'm eating the carnitas and I wouldn't say it tastes authentically Mexican. Same thought on the beef quesadilla. The tortilla tastes different, the pork tastes different. It's not bad, but I would lean on this more towards Tex-Mex kind of flair than authentic Mexican. Adriana's gonna go crazy when she sees Coco on the wall of the bathroom. <laughs> I guarantee you've never seen a toilet like this in a Mexican restaurant in Mexico or the United States. 
John, baila como Juana la cubana. <laughs> guys, no entendí nada. Guys, explain him on the comments about it, please. Okay, guys, uh, honestly, I thought it was gonna be really bad. Like, I didn't even want to come. Like, I wasn't sure. But it's actually not bad. This is, isn't that good, like, real Mexican food. But it's good to be, in, like, for being in Japan, I think it's really good. And if you're here and you get tired of eating Japanese food, it's a good spot to remember Mexico. All right, members of the barrio. So we ate at Borrachos in Hiroshima, and I thought it was actually a very good effort there, especially the decorations. I'm sure Adriana, for at least a couple of minutes, felt somewhat closer to Mexico. Uh, as far as the food, it reminded me more of US-style Tex-Mex. Uh, the beef quesadillas were actually quite good. Tacos were so-so. I would say if you're in Japan for a long time and you want your Mexican fix, this won't be super authentic, but it'll be better than nothing. And it was my first taco eating experience in almost uh, two months. So this was a gift for my Mexican viewers. Un regalito para ustedes. All right, make sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel. We've still got Japan content coming up for the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.